It is 1.15 in Missouri. 1.15 p.m. in Missouri. Uh, I just bought a few things. It's been a while. I bought them at, Dollar, at the Dollar Tree. Uh, it's been a week or two. But I haven't pulled them out of the bag because I haven't showed you guys. And I wasn't ready to use them yet. But I'm going to show you all what I got. Another Dollar General. I think I got these little, um, I don't know, the little stones. Can you guys see? Or is my camera just too, too light or too bright? How's that? It's a little better. Okay, yes, I got those. I'm going to start doing some kind of journaling, card making, some kind of paper craft. I bought these cute little adorable little uh, Halloween baggies. You can see them. Halloween baggies, a little zip. I want to do, oh, I don't know what these are called. I'm just learning. I'd love it if somebody sent me one just so I can check it out. But put some goodies in here, I guess. Stickers, different other items, and send it to our friends that happy mail going I am going to get me a PO box here in the next week or so so I've already got a new email so if you'd like to email me that is tammytime360 at gmail.com so yes email me and tell me what you want to see me do want to see me make or if you want my address to send me something goodies because I need to learn how to do these and it's really hard for me not really hard for me to watch you all do them when it's not in my hands I'm one of them hands people that's got to have that and I think I'm going to use this because I got this open had I not seen what these things look like I probably wouldn't have bought them but since I did they are adorable and then I bought these little owls. They're so cute. And I would do all kinds of cool little things, but that would be kind of cool in a little book. Ah, drop it in. It's a little sticker. I got a little house. Kind of reminds me of the house on... Uh, this haunted thing here, this haunted bucket, uh, and I and it's one of my shadow boxes. I had never painted it, so I've got it now, spray painted black, and I'm gonna spook it out. So we're gonna be able to see that. So that is some and some of the things I got, and these little bowls. I got these at my local Kroger. I think I only paid a dollar or something for eight of them, I believe. And I, I snuck them in my cart so my husband wouldn't see. Oh, you got another thing. Yep, I got another thing. I got another storage container. And I am going to talk him into taking me somewhere this week so I can get me some more storage containers because I have a friend coming to help me clean out my craft room. Yes, guys, I am going to have that room clean because I have a daughter that's coming around Thanksgiving and I want her and her boyfriend to be able to stay in there. And... Or my two granddaughters. It's gonna be up to. It'll be up to how it gets done and how it gets finished. Anyhow, I like to show you some of my little things. I've made these. I know now that they are patent, so I'm not sure if I can even make my little hair brats and sell them. I made hair brats in the early 70s with this. My stepmother, Linda Hughes, made this up. And she put a button on the little thingy and a little bow on the back, a little hair bow on the back, and a thing, ribbon or something, or hair brett, and we put it in our hair. Now there's somebody that does them, and I used to make hundreds and hundreds of those when I was sick in the hospital, and the nurses and the patients would buy them from me, and my mother would shop for me and just I had so much fun I had no idea that I needed to patent what I was doing but I guess I did anyhow I've got a few odds and ends that I'm going to use on some of my paintings I want to do some mixed medias 
So I got some little flowers and all kinds of little buttons and shells and little teeny tiny, I know you can't see this because they are so tiny, but they're little leaves. And the next little gift bag I give out, I'm going to send a little package of them. And they say a hundred in a package, so. Yeah, I have all kinds of stuff like this. Uh, my father cleaned out an old man's home that a friend of his, he had uh, had been taken to the nursing home and my, my father helped clear it out and sell the stuff and trash the stuff and whatever it was. And I ended up with a bunch of shells and a bunch of beads. And so I am going to go through those and going to share. I like to share with my things. And I did have a lid. I wish I could ask you guys what I did with it, but man. Oh, I set it right on top. Okay, I'm not that absent-minded. Wait, 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 let's get the Santa back in. All right. So guys, I've got eight more, eight more subscribers and I'm at 500. Then I'm gonna give away my five prizes, one in which is an eight by 10 your choice, style, colors, whatever it is that you want made, or I can send you the little bit of supplies that it takes to make your own. Plus, I have a beautiful necklace to give away and some paintings and maybe a little bundle of mixed medias. So I want to show you some of my stickers. I didn't even think, I did not get one Halloween sticker. I cannot believe I did not get Halloween stickers. So now I have to go and I have to find some kind of Halloween stickers because I'm not a drawler by no means. But I do like the Mickey. And with my grandkids, I know that I can put these on their cards and, you know, different things. Like I said, I want to go and do some journaling. I also need to do my scrapbooking again. And these would work fantastic in that. Ah, fantastic. Yes, it will work fantastic. Yes, it will. I like Mick. Mick, Mick, Mickey. Oh, I show you this ice tray. It is a silicone mold ice tray. I'm going to use it and make. Uh, I'm going to make the skeleton with the glue with the glue stick. So I really not sure how. But I am going to go watch a video because I know Everyday Art with Brittany Gunter did one. And I'm going to see how she did hers. If not, I got an ice tray right here. I got a chocolate mold. I got all of it. Whatever. I paid a buck for it. Okay, y'all saw that one so I can stick him back under there. All right, we got us some photo booth. Uh picture stickers to put in scrapbook or whatever I want to do. There was that and then it was a little fancy Nancy stickers. I have a couple granddaughters. I like to put little stickers on their cards when I send them things. A couple of them are a little old for it but it's okay. They can feel girly once in a while. Shout out to my granddaughter, Caitlin, KD, is having a baby, and this grandma is going to be a great grandma. I'm so excited, and I'm praying for a little girl, but whatever you get, I know that you're going to love him. Love it. Not love him, it's going to be a girl. We're going to say it's a girl, Katie. We're going to say it's a girl. They look just like her mama. Because this grandma has some things to give that little girl. I have some butterfly and owl. And just summer fun. Flowers, stickers. And then my vacation Bible school stickers. I love Jesus. I love God. I've already given a few of these away. Ah. And this awesome puffy up the bird. I'm going to use this in journaling. And I love the word cherish and wonderful and awesome and all that good stuff. So those are going. And I have a project I'm going to make, hopefully in the next week or two. 
before Thanksgiving, okay? Because this is a Thanksgiving. I mean, it could be Halloween, but or fall, just regular old fall. But I bought me one of these um, wire wreaths at the Dollar Tree, and I got some flowers. So I'm going to not that way, but we're gonna make it look kind of like maybe. There's another one. Let's shove that one in there too. I'm better at this than this. So. We just kind of getting an idea maybe of what and how many. Ah, there's a piece missing on that one, but that's okay. We're good with that one. Yeah, let's go over here. Okay. I'm going to have to shove these things in really good. Alright, we're going to stick this dark one in here. And the light. And they will go. Yes. Alright, I think I'm going to have enough. And that's about what it's going to look like. <laughs> we did it. I did it in just a few seconds. See how easy that is, guys? That was, like, so easy to do. And even you can do that. Just... Yeah, that's awesome. So I have one dollar, two dollar, three dollar, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where's the rest of that? And nine. So it cost me nine dollars. And I'm gonna make this. Beautiful wreath. We will see. That's not bad. Nine dollars for a wreath because I mean I looked at some holiday wreaths and they really wait. They went twenty five and plus for that. And this little lady don't have money like that. I just don't. But I have these little glass gems also here. I like to paint the over the the bottom of these. And then I will put magnets or maybe even put them on a painting. Some things I still, I haven't used yet, but I will be using these. I am thinking of doing my bathroom in something like this and painting every one of them myself. But I haven't went through everything yet. Here is some of that glue that I'm going to use in that skeleton. I believe I might just use clear I don't know I have I've had this glue for a little while so we'll see we'll see that's one of the many things that I've really gotten that I haven't shown you guys I did get this bottle because I want to decoupage this bottle I wish I would have got two I really do because I love bottles like this I can add oils and, and my vinegars and things like that and this would have been a great present to give my daughter with some vanilla in it the homemade vanilla so I've got some of ruin so I don't know we'll see we'll see it depends on the picture I put on the outside I need a very pretty napkin for this so if anybody's got one and you think it could do, yeah, how about that? If y'all got a pretty napkin you want to send me, I want to decoupage so bad. I mean, I don't care if I get two or three. I'll go buy another bottle or two. But I've got everything to decoupage except for a napkin. Well, I have a holiday napkin, the holly. I sent everyone one so we can do something with it. But I haven't decided what I want to do with it. All right, guys, that's what I got at the Dollar Tree. And, yep, that's it. All of that, and I didn't get any kind of Halloween stickers. I am just like, duh, Tammy. Why did you do that? I really don't know why I did it. 
I, my husband was with me. I was looking for a couple of different things and I knew that I couldn't get into my Halloween stuff. I needed to get back. I can't do this, can't do that. Yeah, I didn't want to do any of it. But I ended up still spending $72. Well, he spent 20. I think he bought 20 pairs of sunglasses and reading glasses. I don't know what he bought, but that was his. He gave me the money for it. And then I had the rest. And I had all the way down to a almost perfect because I had only a dollar left. Only a dollar left. For that store, that is. That's me. I, I have certain stores I have to spend a certain amount on. I didn't mean to go over my budget on that one, but I did. I did. I really did. But that's okay. And I had to go th run to the bathroom. And when I went to the bathroom and I come back, I seen this. And I went, oh no, I forgot that. Well, I had that doll or something in my pocket. <laughs> so that's where it came into the 72 something. <laughs> yeah, I, and I hid it in my purse because, you know, my husband tells me, you can't go in a store without buying anything. You say you're going to go to the bathroom, you're going to come out with something. Well, it's true. And I didn't really mean to. I even said that to myself. I really can't go back and get that piece. I can't. I know I've seen it, but I can't go get it. But when am I going to come back to get it? Oh, yeah. I got to get it. You know, I'm telling myself all this in my head. So, yeah, I'm getting it. Besides, I know that I can make a cool craft with it and possibly even sell it. But I'm really doing the cool craft so I can make it for my front door for my, my family to see. That's all. I just, I want my family to see. So, I believe that's it for this haul. I thank you guys. I've really missed you and um, enjoying the Halloween spooky little things that uh, I've been doing and getting really cool uh, comments back. Um, like I said, I'm almost at 500. If you're a new subscriber, please, please tell me where you're from and a little bit about you. And uh, if you want a shout out, tell me in the, in the comments, shout out, and I will give you a shout out. And uh, I had one. I really did. Hope's Heavenly Creations. Yes. I was watching Hope last night. Yes. She gave me a few ideas. So go to Hope's channel, Hope's Heavenly Creations. And check her out and also check out the ladies on Corn and Harmony Jeannie Marie uh, Brittany Gunter Bridget Steiner Carrie uh, Liberger Ham uh, and Anita uh, Nina yes and Sherber just check out all those channels and tell them I sent you and say hi. So until next time, uh, thank you guys. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Like I said, only eight more and I'm giving my having my giveaway and we're doing a big giveaway. I'm doing five uh, prizes because it's 500. And then y'all gotta help me get to that thousand quickly because this 500 went pretty quick. So the next five needs to go quicker and I'm just, just tickled to death. I thank you guys and you have a wonderful Monday. I am having a marvelous Monday. Uh, yes. Happy Halloween-y guys. Until next time. <laughs>